Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Le Plata. And as you guys can see, we are at war with a couple different people, mostly people that are right next to our African provinces, so means we're probably going to have to go to African provinces. And we are at war with Spain and all these guys again. So, yay! Um, now, what do I expect out of this war? Well, basically, if there's any, if there's going to be any fighting, it's probably going to be in my land. Because my land's like the only land that's actually going to be available for anyone to fight. But, I really don't know. I really don't know how this war is going to turn out. Hopefully, we'll be able to win it without, you know, much troubles. But, probably most of the fighting is going to happen over here. And, yeah, we're just going to have to monitor this situation, you know, very heavily. Mexico is apparently asking for military access. I'm not keen on giving it to them. I mean, if they want it, they can get it. And fascism is ruling the world. And... By the way, I just want to comment on the fact that, like, I've noticed that, like, a lot of countries are becoming, like, Italy is fascist, J Austria is proletarian dictatorship, and I just realized that literally the Soviet Union, Austria, Romania, Yugoslavia, and Bulgaria are all, are all socialist, communist people. I, I just want to comment on that, okay? I just wanted to comment on that because I noticed that and I thought it was really interesting. So, yeah. By the way, Jeremy's still about the same people they are. Yeah. And you guys are being racked by Jacobson rebels. Oh, no. And your liberal party. Oh, that makes it even funnier. Okay. So, yeah. That's what I've been kind of noticing. It was just kind of a funny little thing I noticed. I was like, oh. Wow. I, I, I didn't even think of that. And... What we're going to do is we're going to quickly go siege up the only province over here that really matters, which is Calabar. Because if we siege up this, that basically means that they will actually Spain still has these little islands. So never mind, my plan's completely useless. I'm just waiting for the gigantic uh, Netherlands force to come over here to try to wreck me down here in Africa. But I'm pretty sure it's not going to come down. And let's see, strip mining in Rio! Yes! Okay, and let's continue on with the Germans. What do you need, Germany? Oh, it seems like there's another international war going on. So let's see. It's the Second Boer War. Wow, is there any chance of this becoming a great war? Because that would be really bad for us. Um, let's see. Is Belgium and any of them eager to become powers again? No, they are completely out of the running. They're in 12th place. So yeah, good. Good. I don't want this to become an international war. But the Germans' liberation of Alice Lorraine. Okay. Wow, that alliance between Germany and France dissolved so quickly. Oh, wow. Uh, I honestly don't know who's going to win this, but I'll be honestly interested to find out. Uh, but yeah, wow, that, that alliance did not last quickly. It was like, okay, now that we defeated the, the, the British and the, and the Russians, now it's time to turn on each other. Yes, yes, quite. Yes, quite, France. It's time to turn on each other. I must take that land. You must have it. I must have it. Yeah. Alright, and let's see, Romania still hates me, and yeah, so, let's see, let's get right here, eh, yeah, why am I, why am I really fretting over here, I mean, if, if the Netherlands people do try to fight me, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to, f wow, they sent like three people over here, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to destroy most of it, let's see, is there any hostile sieges, hostile siege in only one of my provinces, not going to be enough to defeat me, but yeah, I mean, it looks like I'm going to be a pre Wow, you got completely kicked out of great power in this. Is Yugoslavia going to win a war against you? Oh my goodness, that'd be so sad if you lost a war against Yugoslavia. Oh my goodness. Actually, Yugoslavia, you should probably take advantage and also declare war on Austria and try to take all this land. Especially since I'm also one of your, your spherical leader and I would totally back you up if you did that. Yeah, totally do this. And yeah, Italy has absolutely no no manpower, so they're probably gonna die here soon. Ah, oh, man. It's funny how that works. Alright. Let's see. Let's keep moving in. Let's keep doing this. And my economy collapsed. Go figure. Let's see. There's actual people who are not working in some of my land. That is not good. Let's see. People who do not work in my land. Okay. Show empty provinces. Let's see. Show empty provinces. Okay. Why do I have just a random bunch of 21,000 in Mistral? Oh, because, uh, yeah, because I just took over the provinces and 
Yeah, that's probably costing me. Hmm. You know, maybe it'd be just a good idea just to let these guys become free as soon as I'm done with them. I mean, I know I just recently... Oh my goodness, that better not be in my in the recently conquered land. Thank goodness. I would have so destroyed him. And let's see... We have rebel hunters. Yes, we have rebel hunters everywhere. And... You guys are totally going to go to war with as soon as I have the opportunity. America's conquest of West New Guiana. So... We're fighting over this, basically. That's basically what America wants from, I guess, them. I, I don't know quite why America wants that, but apparently they feel it's an obligation to kick out all Europeans from America. Uh, good for you, America, but did, do we really have to fight a war? I mean, I, I would feel like they would eventually leave, you know, on their own accord, but... I mean, if you guys feel like it's necessary to declare war, then who am I to blame? I mean, I fought many stupid wars before in my time. Uh, all my viewers could probably tell me, could probably tell me all my stupid wars I fought, but let's not go into that. And let's see. We're going to do a kind of pincer attack onto the uh, Netherlands troops. I mean, oh, diplomatic incidents. Yeah, let's just... Get the insult from the plot. To Please tell me this is... Who is this with? I do not want to fight anyone right now. Uh, Austrian? Oh, Austria? Heck no, are they going to beat me? Austria is like the Rabashi, a group of... Uh, okay, everyone, basically, we spend money, we gain, we gain more influence, yay. And we're going to completely slaughter this army down here. Uh, hopefully, they don't have gas attack defense capabilities. They don't have gas attack defense capabilities, so that means this army Swiss cheese. And we're going to watch as the Swiss cheese army is going to be destroyed with major precision. And <laughs> now they're attacking me. Oh, man, that, that's like the worst feeling in the world is when I get defensive to positions against a lesser foe. And there we go. And with that, the war has ended. I absolutely did nothing in this war. I, I don't even quite know what we still were fighting over, but apparently we're fighting over something and it works. Stock exchange, everyone! Splendid, splendid, splendid news. Uh, apparently we also have a little incident right now in Peru. Whoa, that's not a little incident. Okay, do I have an army? Okay, you'll be my Peru army. Go crush all these things and hopefully Peru will be able to recover. Okay, and then... Oh, this is what America was fighting over. America Oceana. Actually, that looks really nice. Yeah. Oh, that looks really nice. Actually, America, good job. That looks really, really nice. Also, hopefully these uh, patriots will soon siege all the rest of the Filipino land. And we will have a much more powerful spherical person. Because that would be really awesome. They're also apparently at war with major powers. I don't know why. Uh, that's really weirding me out. Okay. Uh, let's see, what's happening right now? Yugoslavia, da 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 yeah. Oh, they entered the Alice Slovenia incident. Okay, that, that makes sense. That makes perfect sense. <sighs> so, yeah, I believe what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly release, like, Melchor, because I don't believe it's actually providing me any manpower, which is kind of what I wanted to get out of this. I mean, if it gave me manpower, then maybe I'd keep it, but it's like, it's not providing me much, and ooh, tanks. Okay, and tanks usually count for engineers, so I'll soon replace them with engineers here very, very soon. But yeah, I believe it'd be much quicker just to keep these guys as a little puppet or something, or I want, maybe I should do it at the end of the game, maybe. Seems like much more something for the end of the game instead of like right now. Oh, how many regions is this? One, two, three. Yeah. End of the game, everyone. Everyone at the end of the game, people, I promise to give India its independence. Also, I promise Africa, too. So, in the end, I the Lapletians Le are not evil overlords. We are just expansionistic pigs. Which, come to think of it, I don't know the difference between those two words are. But, it makes me sound much nicer. Uh, and while we're at it, we have to go declare war on the Qing Empire. Uh, so Qing, you're kind of on our hate list next. I wish there was a thing I could do to establish protectorate over all the land, but we can't really do that. So 
What I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a place under the sun. Claim a place. And then what I'm going to try to do is do that fancy event that keeps happening. The unequal treaty. And see if we can steal another piece of land from China. Because I really do like that event. That event is awesome. We get prestige and we get like one port. Which means we don't have to deal with as much education cost. Education is a hella expensive to do. Yay! Integration! Oh. And before I forget, there was something I wanted to bring up to you guys. That serious, serious, kind of serious moment here. Where I wanted to get you guys' opinions on it and thoughts. Which is, um... Oh, oh wow. Okay, yes! You, you did it! Uh, but it grants extra territory to rally. Yay! Yes! Everything's going up my way right now. Like, seriously. Uh, Platine, Mashore, yeah, it's just, those guys are making me pay a lot more. I don't think I'm going to be able to get them, yeah, I'm probably, you know, I'm probably going to have to release these guys a little bit earlier than schedule. You know why? Because, honestly, they're costing me more than what they're worth. I would usually say, you know, I can keep these two lands down here, but this was honestly costing me, see, now I only have 144. Yay, colonial setback, I guess. See, and now the civilized na oh, the civilized nation too. Oh, sweet! That means that these guys are going to be ultra uber powerful. And communist nationalists have just risen up in a couple of my places. That is not necessarily good. That means I have some problems. But as you guys can see, we have really powerful uh, people, so we're probably not going to be beaten. All right, and let's see. We're going to have to start upgrading all of our troops. Uh, I already built the engineer here, but we could probably. We could probably uh, put two tanks right in there, put it in Q, and yeah, now we see, now we're making money again, yay! See, this is what happens when you try to conquer, when you try to conquer India, apparently you just get massive amounts of succession territory, whatever, okay? Got my troops right here, I am all ready for this, okay. So place under the sun, uh, creamy canton, oh, I know what this is. Okay, are we all ready, everyone? Chile, Philippines, United States, let's do this! Yeah, war on China! Is everyone gonna join in? Yes! Oh, yeah, uh, let's just, before I get distracted, let me talk about my serious moment while we're doing this very serious battle. Um, basically what I was thinking of is that, because I'm such an avid, like, Victoria 2S fan, I was thinking I wanted to do a video about what I would like to see in, um, in Victoria 3, like what kind of features, improvements, and you know, overall quality of the game I'd like to see in my Victoria 3 when eventually they do come out with it because they're going to come out with it, we just don't know when or why. And so, um, what the kind of question I wanted to pose to you guys is is that would you guys want to see a video of me like expressing my views? Well, uh, that's 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 actually a different comment altogether. What I was actually trying to say, well, I'm actually. What I'm actually trying to say is, would you guys like to see a video, uh, let me, yeah, let me get my tongue together, because my tongue's a little bit like, well, well, I'm exhausted right now, it's been like, it's like the first couple of weeks of school right now, and I'm tired, but I'm basically putting it like this, would you guys like to see, because what I thought of is that, you know, I would love to make a video about my thoughts and opinions about, like, what would I like to see in Victoria 3, but then I kind of thought, you know, as good of a person as I am to point out little things here and there about, you know, video game mechanics, I'm not exactly good at, like, keeping an organized, you know, thought process. As you guys just saw, I'm not very organized. So, I wanted to ask you guys, um, whoa, these guys are building up quick. Uh, I wanted to ask you guys, um, would you guys like to have, would you like to have, like, a little video of us, like, talking about, yeah, this, these guys are actually pretty tough. Uh, but there's still kind of Swiss cheese on me because I'm still, yeah, look at this. I don't even have to, it's already like Swiss cheese and I already beat them. I didn't even try and I already beat them. Um, would you guys like to do some type of like voting exercise-esque? Well, not voting exercise. Well, uh, I basically want to get your guys' comments and opinions about what you guys think should be included in Victoria 2. I mean, Victoria 3. That's what I was trying to say. In very much less words, that's what I was trying to say, and, you know, because I was, like, thinking, you know, I can't, you know, as much as I would love to speak for this game, I really can't speak for it, because, you know, I have different opinions about things, and, you know, there's a lot of Paradox players out there, and they have their own opinions about things, so, you know, ooh, 
Yeah, and then why don't you guys, let's see. Can I do it again? Can I do the unequal treaty? Ah, uh, shoot. Torching of the summit. Wait, could I actually do that? Oh, I could do it, but then I'd be so mean. Be so mean. Okay. Sure. Yay! Oh, I, I don't get the event this time? Oh, shoot. Now I get an entire, entire region. Oh, shoot. Is that going to cost me? Uh, well, this is my piece of China, everyone. Oh, wow. Much more than I expected. Does that mean I start getting troops from over here now? Or Yeah. So, I just wanted to... So to summarize, I basically want to ask you guys, do you want to see a video uh, where you guys basically give me your thoughts and opinions about what they can improve or do in Victoria 3? And I basically, comp you know, compilize it all into one video and I basically say what you guys all want to hear. You know, what you guys all want to see in the next Victoria 3 video or next Victoria 3 game. And I you know I just put that up on YouTube and, you know, we see we see how it goes. You know, I'm just, I'm just wondering if you guys would be interested in that. So, yeah. And apparently our money went up from that conquest. See, that, that's a good colonial conquest when we don't have to actually pay more for it. And it actually gives us more in return. Instead of actually diminishes our, you know, productivity. In fact, we go all the way down to 40% tariffs. I love going down to 40% tariffs. Oh, no, we can't go down 40% tariffs. 42% tariffs? 42% tariffs. That is good enough right there. Excellent. So yeah, just you know, kind of leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section. You know, tell me what you kind of think, and yeah, I'll respond in turn when I have a, you know, if enough people really want me to do it, then you know, I'll do it. If not a lot of people want me to do it, and I think it's kind of a stupid idea, I won't do it. I mean, mm, it's just an idea. It's just an idea that I was thinking about when I was just kind of like, you know, just kind of sitting out there. Because, like, you know, the new Hearts of Iron 4 is coming out, and I never really got to see a video of, like, what do people actually want to see about this. So, yeah. And let's see, let's upgrade our forts and upgrade our stuff over here. Because now this is officially our land. Which means we should probably, if we can, if we have the ability to, we should probably start building up an actual, like, presence over here in Asia. Apparently we can't yet, because it's not ours. I expected that, but still, wow. And synthemet synthetic polymers? Yes. Alright, and let's see, do we need anything else? Oh, we can get some tax hyperventilation, or hyper... Mm. Oh man, I'm so sorry today, people. I'm having trouble, trouble, trouble with words. And my vassal just kicked out some of my rebels for me. That is awesome. And let's see, we have our... Troops right over here. You know, we could probably just combine this and make one gigantic army. Let's see, and we probably need one Hussia. Actually, it's almost makes a good sized army. And we have absolutely no tanks, probably because of stupidity. Uh, can I hold an election to get. No. Of course. Okay. So, yeah, we basically can't get. We basically can't get the party we need right now in power so we can build some tanks because as we know in this game, this game it severely hates me when it comes to like building tanks. I mean severely. Also, well, we're almost done with this. So I was about to say maybe we should stop encouraging relations, but like, we're almost done. Let's just finish it up and see what happens. And man, Europe, man, Europe is just like, I look at Europe and I'm just like, wow, this is, su this is such a different timeline. Like, by 1914, we had an entirely different wars, expectations, everything. You know, that's the one thing I always find interesting about Paradox Games, is always finding, like, you know, all the differences and stuff that, you know, can happen in this game. Because, you know, as most people usually like to say, you know, this usually happens, or, you know, this usually typically, you know, doesn't happen. You don't ever know. You don't ever know what's going to happen. You don't know if Scandinavia is going to form this time. You don't know if Germany is going to form this time. Although it is a hell of likely it is because Germany's just Yeah, Germany's just Germany. Uh let's see. 40, 40, 40. Can can we go down to 30? Can we do 35? Yes. 35 taxes? Yes! Oh man, 35 taxes, and our state is still running with expertise. That's awesome. Oh, it's time to upgrade. Uh, yeah, I'll do that next episode. It's almost, the episode's almost done. So, yeah, but yeah, it looks, it's always interesting to see how the world turns out, what the world looks like, and, you know, what were your decisions to make the world as it is? 
I think that's always interesting to look at. Always. It just always is. And let's see. We have literally taken chunks of China, and we now own Loa Keitan. Basically, it's ours now. Like, this, <laughs> this is now ours. Like, flat out, this is now our region. I mean, we have British and Portuguese influence, but... Which British, which Portuguese are basically influenced by the British, so that's basically the British, guys. We basically own that region now. Which China's probably not gonna be happy. If they ever do industrialize, that's probably gonna bite me back in the butt. And apparently, tax reform, everyone! Tax reform! Oi, and still have built. We still haven't built any of these. Probably because I don't have the uh, correct factories built. Because. Not one of these guys is going to want to encourage, like, a tank factory, which is going to annoy me. I mean, we have a fuel refinery factory right there, which is surprisingly doing good, which is surprising. And I'm upgrading, and capitalists are doing their thing, which is good. And we have roadworks. I mean, our country is actually pretty good now that I look at it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And upgrade. Upgrade. I'll just do a little bit right now. And now I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been another great episode. Um, Crackdown on Communists. Actually, I kind of want the Communists right now. Yay! Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the future.